Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Scrap Mechanics for you guys. That's right, we are back, and today I thought we'd have a little fun and uh, try and make something a little less complicated. Go for something a little, uh, little cooler, in my opinion. We are going to go for a pickup truck. That's right. I'm excited about this, actually. Uh, you guys have been actually mentioning this for a little while now, and so I'm going to take the time to do it here today. So we've got one block on this side. That means we need to remove this side. Now, I'm sure that there's going to be better versions of a pickup. Uh, I have not actually built anything as far as a pickup is concerned yet in my world, so, you know, it's just going to be one of those things that we're going to try out. Uh, as you guys know um, and tell me rather often that I'm not the best when it comes to building, so uh, we are just gonna just gonna try our best here. So, why is that acting like it's removing, but it's not really removing? That was weird. All right, so why don't we go ahead and uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough truck. So what we're gonna have in here is I'm gonna have four engines inside this truck. Uh, to uh, to power each individual wheel. So we will have four-wheel drive in this truck. Um, and then what we'll do here on the front, that will be there. And then I don't know. I think all of this stuff is going to be, like, way too tall. Yeah, so it doesn't look like I can do, like, an actual grill like I want to. I, I could do something like that. How long are these long wires? Yeah, they're actually super tall. Um, okay. You know what? We'll come back to that. We'll, we'll come back. We'll circle back to that. And uh, maybe we can make something. Oh, you know what? Those might actually... I mean, they don't, they don't look the best. But they don't look bad either. All right. So from there, we got that. Now uh, we'll have to put the back of the truck on. And I'm just going to do... Um, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to do a, uh, a, a uh, extended cab truck. So we're going to just extend out here just a little bit and then place a seat back here and one back there. So now there's that and then we can come back over here and we'll just have that come up just to there. All right. And then I can actually have this come up and then have this side come up. There we go. There's the top of the truck. So now uh, we can actually just have uh, little bearings here. And this will be for all the doors. All right. And then now we need a wheel system. Uh, we need to have some sort of wheel system. And I'm not, I, again, it's one of those things that I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with in my head on how I want it to work. So I know, I know for a fact that I need... Uh, a wheel base so why don't we come up to there and then we can have that come down and then I can do one of these now I can't put that on there so this is this is three tall is that correct yeah it's three tall so it'll come down one oh, two might not be bad all right let's do that why don't we grab this guy we've got our engines in already so we shouldn't have to worry about that and then put that on there like so. And now if I put this on, the wheel sticks out from the truck just a little bit, but shouldn't actually cause us any problems. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll just come up to, or just drop that thing down a little bit more. And then we'll come off like that. Got our steering column. Got that. That. All right. So there's a front of our truck. So I'm, I'm curious if I remove this, how bad is it pushing our springs in? It doesn't look too terrible. Oh, yeah. It's actually like completely smashing our springs now i don't know if there's a good way to fix that we might have to uh, test that out a little bit more uh those springs are definitely like this truck's way too heavy for those so you know trucks are made out of metal though so what are you gonna do right all right so now we want to do the bed 
So the bed can come up to, yeah, right about there. And then we'll come back there. Come back to there. Actually, I think I, um, I kind of want it to come one higher. So why don't we do that? Why don't we just go ahead and make it come one higher like I want it to. And then we'll extend it out one more like so. And then can do something a little fancy here. Um, I can make the bed have a wooden a wooden bed, and we kind of you know can can mix some old school element elements with some new school elements. So we are two in from the side of the truck. So towards the back here, we will fill in the bed. All right, and then from there we'll come up. Two more, just like that. Actually, there we go. Now we can come up two. Then we can place this guy. Uh, we don't need that, but we still need this piece here. All right, is that lined up? That is lined up nicely. Okay. All right. Um, and now let's take this piece out right along with that. Take out this. And then, oh, uh, actually, it sh shouldn't be that far out. So I am placing blocks like none other today. All right. There we go. Put that back. Get this back. And there we go. Raise that puppy up. Get that, that, and that. All right. So let's see. Uh, it looks like our, our gears in the back are doing just fine, but the ones in the front are not... Are not taking it very well. So what I might do here is we do need to lighten a little bit of the load. So why don't we do this? Why don't we take uh, what is that's a lightweight, that's medium weight. Yeah, why don't we just take some more wood here and let's come back to there. We'll kind of do this all the way over the truck. This way, the interior of the truck is wood, like so, and then we'll stop it right there, and then we'll just continue it back. Okay, we did drop those off. So we got that. Now let's lower it back down, and we'll put our seats in again. So we'll give it a little bit of aesthetics, and then we'll see how that does. Okay, it's still, it's still too much weight here in the front. Now, I'm curious, what do these weigh? They're medium. Those don't matter. So maybe it is the four wheels. Maybe we just have two engines. No, is it still just that compressed? It still is that compressed. Okay. Um... I'm torn. I'm torn on what to do here because I'm not 100% sure. I mean, it, yeah, how cool is it that the, the truck is down like that? But all right, let's connect. Let's connect some stuff up here and uh, just make sure we are all good to go. And we can have one engine going to the front and then one engine going to the back wheels. Get in there. Grab this one up to here. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, now let's test everything. Left turns left. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to remove a couple of pieces here. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, but that should remove that, that should remove that. Left, right, or I'm sorry, left, right. So we are pushing up just a little bit on the wheels when we're turning. So it's this this little piece right here that is uh that's causing a little bit of funkiness with it so if i place that in there it still touches 
Well, it's actually the inner one too, the the one a little bit further in as well. All right, why don't we grab that? And then we'll grab the one off the other side. Okay, still getting a little lifted. Now that could be up there. It is it's a little wonky that it's it's going up like that. So maybe this is just not going to be a part of this vehicle. Yeah, that seemed to be what it was. Okay. So now we can drive. Oh, it also looks like we're running into a little bit of issues with this back here. So, oh, not the right block. I, I know that I can do this and cover this up. All right. And then so we'll remove this and this. And that's why the back end is not falling down is because it was... Oh, man, that's rough. That is really rough. Um, we're just way too heavy. That's that's basically what it is, is we are just way, way, way too heavy uh, to, uh, to support this vehicle. So maybe building something like this out of metal was not a good idea. It's a pretty cool design so far, I think. But why don't we switch it up? Why don't we come over here and then uh, we'll, we'll start... Just with some wood, you know, why not? And I know you guys are probably like, Drax, why are you building this thing over again? But this should be fast. Uh, just swap that. Oh, you know what? We could probably just swap. Uh, let's take this entire quote unquote firewall out. And then we can put it back. Let's take those off. And we've got that on. Okay. And then let's put this on the lift here. And then we can lift this guy up. Let's just go ahead and pull this out. And then we can put that back. Okay, that's a good chunk of weight. And then I guess from there, you know, these engines are going to be a lot of the problem just because they are so heavy. But uh, let's let's see how she does without. It's still it's still extremely heavy for those springs. So um, maybe we need to switch out our suspension. Maybe we just have uh, not you know just too much suspension. Uh, you know I wanted this to be an off road vehicle, but I guess it doesn't always have to be. So why don't we swap these? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all this off actually. Um, cause we'll have to, we'll have to rotate some of this stuff ever so slightly. All right. All right. Take that off. Take that off. And then we can just, I'm going to just go around really quickly, uh, fixing some of this. Get that boom. Like so. Grab this guy, and boom, like so. Okay. So in the back here, like I said before, we don't really... Oh, we don't need the turners. Oh, yeah, I guess we, we still will because of the, the support difference. So we'll do that. Get this one on. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then now in front here, like I said, we'll have to put bearings on, then our attachments, then our springs, and then this guy, which should connect like so, this guy that should connect like so, more bearings, and that should do it. Still completely compressed, wow. Okay, um, man, I, I was, I'm a little shocked. I'm not going to lie. I am a little shocked that uh, this truck is so incredibly heavy that we can't do this. Uh, actually, I wanted to put wood in there. Thank you very much. So let's do that. Okay, still too heavy. Remove the bed. We'll just remove the bed completely for now. 
And if this lightens this up, I'll be slightly happy, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Yeah, they're just like completely compressed. That did it. All right, so let's remove this. We'll take this out. And we're getting a little bit of weight on the back side there, which is good. Okay, and then I just I I'm I'm a little I'm a little confused on why why something like this is just so heavy, but I guess I guess the engines are are your major thing. I mean, they're heavy weight per block, so that's not uh not too crazy, I guess, but all right, so let's hook everything back up again and uh, let's drive this thing around. Let's at least see how well it does driving now that it's lost a little bit of weight. And then we can always come back and uh, finish the, the aesthetic parts of this build in another episode. But yeah, let's grab that and then let's take this away. All right, we got a little bit of lift, but not much. All right, let's actually turn these engines up a little bit more. All right. Oh, why are we leaning? Like, it is wanting to go hard one way. See, it's it's turning to the left like none other. Hold on. What, what's going on? Oh, that, that wheel is... That one wheel didn't get turned properly. Uh-oh. Oh. Heavy truck. Yeah, if I would have put a cab on this, this would have been extremely top-heavy. Right. Well, I guess let's let's finish this puppy bad boy up. I'm a little disappointed that the metal didn't work. Like we need, I think we need some some stronger spring. <laughs> I feel like we need some stronger springs in this game. Something that can sport a little bit more weight, or maybe even I don't even know. Like I don't I don't know what you could do because I mean building a vehicle out of metal is not out of the question in my opinion uh it is not too uh extravagant if you will and so i uh i'm just i'm a little perturbed at it but yeah we can just continue that across and then once we get up to there it can come down so boom 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 that kind of connects up nicely Boom, 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 boom. And then in the back, this will come up with that. Like so, like so. Actually, like so. All right, and then this can all get filled in. You always have the back windows in these things like that. And then, yeah, that's that's not bad. We can uh, we can put doors in it, but I don't think I'm going to right now because I do feel like this is going to get a whole redesign. Like, I don't know. Like, it just, I really thought that the springs would have held that much weight, but they're just not. And, like, even with this, it really just got compressed. Like, these springs are just not even lifted. This one's eh. And any more weight in the back end of this thing and it'll it'll just be like completely weighed down I mean as you can see let's go ahead and, and finish off some weight back here uh, one two three and then continue this to the front one two three there we go we can put this piece on this piece on and that's basically our truck bed the back wheels don't have to turn, so these can actually get filled in. And yeah, there we go. We're all set. All right, let's hop in and go for a drive. It's not bad. It, it kind of actually looks like a dune buggy almost. Oop, it tips. A little high off the ground, but that's why I tried to in, uh, insert the wheels a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, all right. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic. I have something cool that I want to show you in the next one, and uh, we'll, we'll be right back. All right, guys, have a good one.